Well, good morning and welcome to the Belfry 11 o'clock online service. My name is Tom and it is such a privilege to be leading us this morning through the service. Before we get started properly, we've got a challenge for everyone watching. We want you to go to one of our social medias, so that Instagram, Facebook or Twitter, and share the post that we've just shared that's inviting people to the services. You've got one minute to do that. Let's make sure everyone gets an invite. Amazing. We hope you found it easy to find and to share. We're seeing in the news that many people are engaging with church for the first time during this lockdown. So we want to make sure that everyone is invited. And we've got a great service to invite them to. We've got Liz Hunt, who's going to be speaking to us. And we've got worship being led by Ruth Walters and the team. And before we go into our first song, which is going to be an action song, I'm going to lead a prayer of confession. Now, confession can sound really religious. It's a bit of a scary word sometimes, but actually, as Christians, we believe that it's just acknowledging our own humanity, that we fall short of perfection. And as we pray this, we're actually acknowledging what Jesus does for us, that he brings us freedom, that he brings us hope, and he brings us forgiveness. So as I pray, and you maybe join in with us, if you want to join in at the end, you can say Amen. And a really easy way to do that as community is to write it in the comment section or on the top chat on our YouTube page. So do get involved. So Lord, we come before you at this service and we say sorry for all the wrong things that we've done this week. Sorry for all the times when we've chosen the wrong path, when you've offered us the right one. Lord, for anything that we've done that's hurt people or, or brought sadness, we say sorry, Lord. And as we acknowledge those things that we've done ourselves this week, we thank you that you bring forgiveness, that you bring hope, that you bring freedom and peace. And I pray as we receive that this morning, Lord, we will be stirred to worship, stirred to thanksgiving and stirred to share the message of Jesus again. We pray that in your mighty name. Amen. Amen. I hope you managed to join in with us. So we're going to go into our first song of worship. And we know that worship has been a little bit strange during this lockdown season. Um, can be a bit different from being in a church building with everyone to just being with your families or friends or on your own. So what we want to do is encourage you to find the best way that you can worship. It's all about fixing our eyes on Jesus. However, this first song is an action song, which is often a lot easier to get involved with. We've seen amazing videos of people joining in with the actions. So if you do that, then please do send it in to us. We've actually asked a few families to help us this morning, so I hope you enjoy being led. I'm going to hand over now to the kids and the, the worship team as they lead us. Good 
Amazing. What a great action song. That was so much fun. Thank you to all those families and young people who helped lead the actions and to the worship team for doing a great job. Um, we're going to go into our talk now, which is going to be Liz. But before that, Freddie, one of our young people, is going to give us the reading. 2 Timothy chapter 1, verses 6 to 7. For this reason I remind you to fan into flame the gift of God which is in you through the laying of my hands. For the spirit God gave us does not make us timid, but gives us power, love and self-discipline. Colossians chapter 3 verse 3. For you died and your life is now hidden with Christ in God. Revelation chapter 21 verse 4. He will wipe every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain. For the old order of things has passed away. Thank you, Freddie, for those readings. Um, we're going to spend most of our time today thinking about the first set of readings that um, Freddie shared for us. But I'll refer to the other ones as well. Um, do tune into one of the other services from today if you'd like to have a further explanation of these passages and this theme. The verses in that first passage are taken from a letter that Paul wrote to someone called Timothy. And I'm going to illustrate those with these little wooden figures. So Paul and Timothy. At the point that we're talking about today, Paul was in prison. He was away from his friends and his family and he was writing a letter to Timothy, who was leader of a church that Paul had helped to set up in a place called Ephesus. Timothy was having a tough time leading this church. Some people said he was too young to be a leader or that he wasn't leading the church in the right way. And Paul wrote this letter to Timothy to remind him to keep his focus on God. It's really good to have people around us like Paul, people who encourage us, remind us who God is and help us to keep going. Maybe that's something you can be doing for other people at the moment. Maybe you can be writing them a letter or sending them a message. I'm really grateful for the people that have been doing that for me in the last few weeks. And if Paul hadn't done that for Timothy, we wouldn't have this letter in the Bible to read at all. Today's theme is the theme of free to relax. It maybe feels hard to relax at the moment when lots of us are feeling scared or worried. Maybe you're fearful of what might happen to your friends or family, worried about you getting ill or someone that you love being ill. But the Bible reminds us over and over again that we don't need to be afraid. We're going to represent this um, fear by this wobbly jelly. Sometimes fear feels very much like that. We feel all wobbly and shaky and not really able to do very much. I think that's maybe how Timothy was feeling in this Bible passage. We're not exactly sure what Timothy was scared of, but Paul tells him not to have a spirit of timidity. One translation of the Bible calls it a spirit that makes us feel afraid. Paul reminds Timothy here not to be afraid because he's got God's spirit in him and that that is a spirit of power and love and self-discipline. But actually, it can be really hard not to be scared, especially at the moment. We feel all wobbly and shaky, like we're standing on this wobbly jelly, because we're scared about the things that we can see around us or that we hear on the news. But the second Bible verse that we heard today tells us that our life is hidden with Christ. That means we can know the same power that Jesus had living in us. It's like standing not on the wobbly jelly, but on the solid rock. That means we don't need to be scared about the things we have to do because we've got God's power living in us. It also means we can pray powerful prayers for other people that we're worried about because we can ask for God's power to be working with them too. Paul also tells Timothy that God's spirit is a spirit of love. We know that God loves us and cares about us. And that should help us to be free from fear and free to relax, not feel wobbly, because we know that we have an amazing God who loves us and cares about us and wants to keep us safe. Thirdly, Paul tells Timothy that God's spirit is a spirit of self-discipline or self-control. That's a bit of a tricky word to explain, but for today, let's think about it being about God's spirit helping us to make good choices. Sometimes that means making choices to not be afraid, not to stand on the shaky wobbly jelly, but to remind ourselves to think about God instead of focusing on our fears. Maybe that means making a decision to do something different, not watch too many news programmes or choose to read the Bible to remind ourselves not to be afraid. 
that final verse that Freddie read earlier reminds us that one day we'll be in heaven with Jesus and everything will be perfect. No fear, no sadness, no coronavirus, no death, no dying. I often have to remind myself of this, to look beyond the scary, worrying things, the things that make me feel wobbly and shaky, and to remember that God's spirit is a spirit of love and power and self-control and that that spirit is in me. And ultimately, there will be an end to all these difficult things. So we're going to um, respond to these ideas now by thinking and praying together. Um, And the way we're going to do this is with some actions. So we're going to say, when I'm scared, we're going to wiggle like a jelly. And then we're going to say, please help me to remember that I have your spirit with me. And we're going to put our hands together like the rock that I was looking at, we were looking at earlier. So I'm going to wiggle like a jelly. When I'm scared, please help me to remember that I have your spirit with me. Those words are going to come up on the screen in a moment and we're going to pray them together. But before we do that, why don't you just think of some things that you're scared about that you want to talk to God about now? Maybe you're scared about what's going to happen next. Maybe you're scared for somebody who's not well. So just hold those things in your mind as we pray. So let's say together, when I'm scared, please help me to remember that I have your spirit with me. Lord God, thank you that that's true, that we don't have to be afraid. We can trust in you and we can know that we have your spirit of love and power and self-control living in us. Amen. Thank you, Liz, for sharing with us. That was so helpful. Now, we're going to go into a time of prayer now. We're going to pray for our world. And I want to encourage you to find a way that you can join in with that this morning, whether that be um, closing your eyes and bowing your head or finding a journal and writing your own prayers alongside, or maybe even getting creative and getting some paints and, and artwork out and start doing some art as you pray. It's all about being involved. And it's great to know as we pray together that we're actually praying not just with a screen and me on the screen. Actually, we're praying as a church community across the city and beyond where everyone is, where anyone, sorry, is getting involved and watching along. So let's pray together as we pray for our world. Lord, we thank you for all of those people who are putting themselves on the front line to serve our community and our society during that time. For all of the key workers, Lord, would you keep them safe during this time? Would you bless them during this time? And would you um, bring them peace and hope during this time? Lord, we thank you for their bravery and service. We just pray you would be with them. And for all of those that don't know you, that they would know your peace during this time. Lord, we pray for the government and those in power. Help them to make decisions that benefit um, everyone and keep people safe and keep our country on the right track. Lord, would you be at the centre of all their decision making? And would you help them in any way you can? Lord, We know you are amazing and above the coronavirus and we pray that our leaders would see that during this time. Lord, we pray for anyone in our church, our family and friends of them who has COVID-19. Lord, we pray for your amazing healing power. We pray that you would bring peace to the families. We pray for the doctors and nurses dealing with them as patients and the care homes and the care home workers who are dealing with them. Lord, would you keep everyone safe? And we pray that we would hear of their recoveries and that that would be a testimony to the the great work that is being done and also your amazing power during this time. So Lord, finally for ourselves, we pray for those family units, for those housemate units, for those people who are dealing with lockdown on their own. Lord, for all of the different, unique, individual stresses and strains that comes from being forced together and socially isolating and distancing ourselves. Lord, even with the new rules in place, Lord, would you be at the centre and would you be bringing peace and freedom and comfort to those in need? Especially, Lord, those who are learning to work from home or having to contend with going back to work. Would you bring us peace during this time, we pray. Guide us through, Father. We know you are a good Father and we need you at this time. Amen. Amen. We're going to finish our prayers with the Lord's Prayer and we'll say it together. So we say, Our Father in heaven hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. 
Great, so we're coming towards the end of our service and all I've got to do now is share a few notices. Just to say, if you ever need to keep up to date with the life of our church, then the best places to do that are our website, belfry.org, and in our Friday news email. If you don't receive our Friday email, then it's simple. Just email hello at belfry.org and ask to be signed up. It's got all of the information that you need to keep up to date. Saying that, I am going to highlight a few things to us this morning, starting with our online survey. We're hoping to do a survey to help us figure out how to do online church even better. We were given less than a week to figure out how to do online church, and we think we're doing an amazing job. And thank you to all the team who are doing that. But we'd love to hear from you about ways that we can help point people to Jesus during this time. So please do go to belfry.org forward slash survey and fill it out. It's a short survey and it would help us a lot. Whilst you're on the website, you can go to belfry.org forward slash 30 seconds and give your 30 seconds of thanksgiving. We're hoping to fill that page with lots of amazing testimony during this time. Please do get involved with that. And finally, for this week, we're still going to be having coffee after our 11 o'clock service. We've done that for the last two weeks, and it's been great to see lots of people joining the community atmosphere there. We Go to our website, you go to belfry.org forward slash coffee, you hit the link 11 o'clock, and the password this week is coffee11. Please do know that at the six o'clock this week, our coffee is going to be earlier at half past five, because after the service, we're trialing having prayer ministry. So if you need prayer for anything, do come along this evening and get it there. We're going to go into our final song and when we gather in our church building this is often our offertory song where we um, give financially to the work of the church and our mission partners and we want to thank everyone who's continued to give during the COVID-19 lockdown and uh, we want to say if you want to give to our church it supports world mission, mission in our region, it supports all the work we're doing here and we're so thankful for everyone who gives. Um, It's really easy to give, you can go to belfry.org forward slash giving and all of the information is there. So thank you if you do that. We're gonna go into our final song and then I'm gonna check back in at the end.
Thank you to everyone for coming along this morning and for all of the guys who contributed to today's service. We, we hope you've enjoyed it and enjoyed being part of our community. We'll see you after the service for coffee and do remember to get involved in the chat and join us for Belfry prayers throughout the week. Check out our website for all the up-to-date information and all that's left for me to do is pray for us as we finish. So thank you, Lord, that you are with us. Thank you that even during a time of lockdown, we can still be community together at church. And I pray for the coffee times, for our weeks, for everything as we go ahead into this week. Lord, would you be walking with us? We thank you that you are that good, good father. Lord, would you bless us? Would you keep us in your image, Lord? And would you fill us with your Holy Spirit and send us out to do amazing work in your mighty name? We pray that in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you for joining us and we'll see you soon.